True professionalism from Kernahan. Didn't argue with the umpire. Just got back onto his position in their zone defence. Fletcher to bring it back into play. Goes straight down the middle. Lovely kick. Almost to the centre of the ground. Williams waits at the back. But it's uh, to his opposite number, Denham. In the middle. Now Michael Long. Look at this boy go. Away goes Michael Long. 50 metres out. Still going. 30 metres out. of the year. Two, three. Carlton are behind. I said he was a danger, didn't I? I mean, his pace is just too much for Athorn, and uh, when you have another look at this, Jared, it's just absolutely incredible. Yes, well, one wondered whether uh, that player on screen long had run too far, and I think there may have just been a little finger on that one. Fed up with all that and picked the free kick out, and it goes to Mercedi. But what a fantastic passage of finals football. Carl, a little late on long. 50 metres, 50 metre penalty. This will bring Michael Long down the centre wing. Well, this is certainly only just fractionally late. Comes over the top of Long, rides him into the ground. Perhaps that was what caused the 50 metre penalty. Fairly harsh, though. He sends the Bombers towards there. Half the football on centre wing. And is still down. They may have to stop this game because he's uh, in that vicinity. The umpire says, no, play on. Michael Long bouncing his way into goal. Long kicks and he's kicked it. Well, Sandy, the umpires, surely they've got to be aware that that man's been knocked out. Well, I did say in the call I was surprised that they were allowing it to go on all around him. Well, that's what you've got two umpires for. Correct. One can't see it, the other one should have the vision. However, Michael Long has kicked his second. Well, we saw a monumental comeback from Essendon in the preliminary final where they uh, turned around a 42-point deficit at half-time. The way the Blues are going, they look to be facing the same... He drops it, but away goes Wang Yanin, the 1993 Brownlow medalist. It goes out the half-back, it bounces beautifully from... Long, long, come and get me, Millen Hanner, he says. But Wanganen's run brilliantly from the back pocket, and his disposal, not quite for her. Christian Harvey, who's just kicked his first goal, Michael Long, what a performance this man is giving us today. He's toying with them. Still going. Gets the hand pass away, off to Danaher. Danaher tries to set something up for Hills. Hills, but straight to Long. Oh, clever hand pass to Calvor. We'll go back to Long. He's running with him. Now he's clear. 80 metres out. 70 and closing. Up towards full forward. And the mark taken at the back. Salmon will have a shot. Magnificent. Michael Long is on centre wing. What a game he's had. Up towards the 50 metre line. Essendon playing in front and doing it well as Buick, who in turn has another one. Now he's opened it up a bit for Harvey. Long making position. Harvey has a bounce just to wait for Long. For him to run down. Hannah's giving chase. This will be interesting. Oh, it's okay. clever the way he tapped it back. Picked up the free kick. <laughs> it's just fantastic to watch. I think he's promised plenty over his uh, career, Michael Long, yeah. but he's certainly delivered now, hasn't he, Jerry? Well, he started this season in sensational form, particularly in the Fosters Cup, but then he was suspended in three consecutive games which really did uh, destroy the better bulk of his year. But come the finals, he is almost... And now, ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome former Richmond champion, Morris Rioli, himself a winner of the Norm Smith Medal in 1982, to present the Norm Smith Medal to the player judged as best of field in the 1993 Foster's AFL Grand Final. And in this international year of the world's indigenous people, May I announce to you, the 1993 winner of the Norm Smith Medal is Michael Long of Essendon.
Congratulations, Michael. Well done, Morris. And now, ladies and